Welcome to this edition of the El Segundo City Council Recap. I'm your host, Bill Thomas. Let's take a look at the items presented to the El Segundo City Council at their May 2nd, 2023 meeting. During special presentations, City Council proclaimed April 30th through May 6th Professional Municipal Clerks Week. City Clerk Tracy Weaver and staff accepted the proclamation. Council also proclaimed the month of May as National Older Americans Month 2023 and recognized Nancy Jacobson as El Segundo's 2023 Older American of the Year Award and highlighted the city's Elderfest celebration taking place on Saturday, May 20th at 11 a.m. and that's happening in the Joslin Center. Following public communications, City Manager Daryl George provided an update on the city's efforts to address the ongoing odors and noxious gases coming from the Hyperion Water Reclamation Plant. The city manager, Mayor Pro Tem Chris Pimentel, and Councilmember Ryan Baldino, they all provided testimony at the Natural Resources Committee Assembly hearing in Sacramento, and that's for Assembly Bill 1216, which would require Hyperion to monitor the air quality for H2S, NOx, and VOCs. The committee passed the bill, and it's currently in appropriations. Now, since April 18th, AQMD has received 24 odor complaints and issued a notice of violation relating to Hyperion's flare equipment. The next AQMD hearing board is scheduled for June 20th. The Hyperion Perimeter Road Improvement Project is now 85% complete, and Saturday work will begin this weekend and will take place on Saturdays from 7 a.m. till 3 p.m. throughout the month of May. Minimal construction noise is anticipated. Hyperion will be performing routine maintenance from May 7th through May 14th that may cause flaring, which is permitted by AQMD. Information about Hyperion can be found on the city's website at elsegundo.org slash Hyperion. Human Resources Director Rebecca Reddick presented a resolution authorizing the temporary appointment of CalPERS retired annuitant Robert Espinosa as temporary interim fire chief for the city of El Segundo, and that's starting May 3, 2023. City Council unanimously approved the resolution. Eric Chan, Daniel Martin, and Carol Hamilton from the El Segundo Economic Development Corporation, or ESEDC, presented an update on the corporation's three areas of focus lifestyle and connectivity, also attainable housing, and diversity, equity, and inclusion. The ESEDC is comprised of El Segundo business leaders and was established to guide the city's efforts to attract, retain, and grow businesses in the community. To learn more about ESEDC, simply visit elsegundoedc.org. City Council received and filed the report. During committees, commissions, and boards, the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, or DEI, committee chair, Christabel Vienna, vice chair, Genesis Jackson, and member, Avery Smith, they all presented the committee's Community at Large report. The report included a review of El Segundo's demographic, history, data, and trends. Based on feedback from community surveys and other research, the committee's recommendations included creating more opportunities for community dialogue and education, more city-sponsored activities, including support and representation for the LGBTQIA community, and establishing a budget for DEI-related initiatives. City Council received and filed the report and will discuss the committee's recommendations further at the City Council's strategic planning session, and that's happening on May 16th. Council thanked the committee for their volunteer service and all the hard work they put in to prepare that report. Recreation, Parks, and Library Director Ali Mancini and Cultural Arts Coordinator Sam Lee presented the Arts and Culture Advisory Committee report proposing the committee's initiatives for the 2023-2024 fiscal year with a total budget request of $316,000. Some of the initiatives include visual artists in community, events, El Segundo Art Walk, literary arts, and operations. After a discussion about the allocation of funds, City Council received and filed the report and approved the budget and directed the city manager to look into grant funding opportunities to support arts-related nonprofits in the city. During staff presentations, Human Resources Director Rebecca Reddick and Chief Financial Officer Joe Lilio, they presented a resolution authorizing the temporary appointment of CalPERS retired annuitant David Kane to the position of Interim Chief Financial Officer starting May 15, 2023. City Council unanimously approved the resolution. 
Human Resources Director Rebecca Reddick also presented a resolution approving and adopting the Memorandum of Understanding between the City of El Segundo and the El Segundo Police Officers Association. The MOU will be in effect through June 2025 and includes an amendment to increase the city's contributions for CalPERS medical premiums. City Council approved the resolution. Finally, Recreation Parks and Library Director Ali Mancini requested the formation of a Recreation Park Renovation Project Subcommittee to assist the recreation team with renovation projects. City Council approved the request and appointed Councilmember Carol Perstuck to serve on the committee along with city staff and community members. Now to watch the complete City Council meeting for May 2nd, 2023, and to learn more about the agenda items covered, please visit ElSegundo.org or watch the meeting on Channel 3. The next meeting will be on Tuesday, May 16th.